A devotee wrote me about having lived in Sri Mayapur Dham for some years and definitely the Dham is a transcendental wonderland where everyone and everything is attached to Goranga and we go there to be attached to Goranga and by going there we become more attached to him but this devotee, her or one of the particular features of her stay in Mayapur was her attachment to Mother Ganga flowing there. And of course, Mother Ganga, she comes there specifically to serve and be present in the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now, um, I responded by in an email by citing Sri Pundarika Vidhanidhi, Pundarika Bap, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nimai Pandit would call for Pundarika Bap because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha Krishna, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nohayana. So he thought of Pundarika Vidhanidhi as his father because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna but with the mood of Radha. And Pundarika Vidyanidhi is in, in Krishna Leela, he is Vrishabhanu Raja, the father of Srimati Radharani. So I cited the example of, or I, I cited that Sri Pundarika Vidyanidhi, who was a resident of Chattagram in East Bengal, he had two houses, one in East Bengal and one in Navaridham. So he had been living in Chortagram, but he came to stay in Navaridham. Now I may say, well, he came, of course, to associate with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but the specific reason given in Chaitanya Bhagavat of Vrindavan Das Thakur is that Pundarika Vidyanidhi was a great devotee of Mother Ganga. And he wanted to have darshan of Mother Ganga, but he never went to bathe in Mother Ganga. And in fact, it gave him great distress to see that people would treat Mother Ganga just like any other body of water, because it's up to the present day in Navaridham, as all along the banks of the Ganga, the people who live on the banks of the Ganga, they go and bathe there. Daily they, they bathe in the Ganga and then they'll wash their mouths and spit out the water. Uh, they tend to treat her just like any other river. They, it, for them, the, the Ganga is, uh, is part of their life in the sense that they need some place to bathe and, and perform all the other cleansing duties. So they tend to treat her just like any other river. And Pundarik Vidyanidhi, seeing this, gave him great, great distress because he had great uh, faith in and love for Ganga Singh uh, as Mother Ganga. And so he wouldn't go in the daytime and he, he would only go at night to the Ganga. No one bathes in the night in, in the Ganga. Uh, he would see from a little distance and offer prayers to her, but he would never bathe in her thinking, how can I put my feet in Mother Ganga? So this devotee, in response to that email, uh, wrote back that, well, why didn't he bathe in the Ganga when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all his associates there in, in Mayapur Navadri did? And although she didn't write it in the email, we find in the case of, I believe it was Rangapuri, he was making, he was making a journey by foot from the southern part of India to Ganga, to bathe in the Ganga. So Ganga comes to this world, she's Patita Pavani, she's the uplifter of the fallen, the, the purifier of the fallen, and she purifies primarily by offering people the chance to bathe in her waters, and then they deposit their sins in her waters. So the uh, devotee wrote, is it sinful to desire to get purified by bathing in her pure holy water? Rather, is it sinful to desire or do things specifically with the intention of purification? Sometimes the sins weigh heavily on our, on our consciousness. What should be our prime motive or intention while bathing in holy rivers? 
Well, it certainly is not good to think that let me sin and then bathe in the river. We know in the discussion of the holy names that to think nam no baladyasya hi papa buddhi hi navidyate pam navidyate papasya mai hi shuddhi hi It's so sinful to think that I will bathe in uh, that I will chant the holy name and then I will sin and then I will chant and I'll be purified by chanting. But such such an impure attitude cannot be purified even by the punishments of Yamaraj. So that's a very wrong attitude, certainly. And although there's always benefit from bathing in the Ganga, one who bathes with such a motive, um, it's, it's going to be a very slow purification for them because of their offensive attitude toward Ganga. Uh, whatever we do, the principle stands, If we chant Hare Krishna in, uh, <coughs> in jest, <laughs> neglectfully, uh, stoba, hela, the various ways we can chant, we don't get love of Krishna, but we can be f freed from sins. Sankhe tyam parihas yang vas toba helanam evacha vaikunta nama grahanam ashe so gam harang viduhu. Now, Pundarik Vidyanidhi, he was a very special person. Of course, all the participants in Gaulila, they are special persons. And he was unique, let's put it that way, unique in as much as um, he didn't appear to be like a devotee. Superficially, he didn't appear to be like a devotee. He appeared to be like a great materialist. And Gadadha, when he was Gadadha Pandit as a boy, young, as a youth, when he was brought in the presence of Pundarika Vidyanidhi by Mukunda Datta. Gadadha had doubts. This is a Vaishnav? He didn't think so. Then Mukunda demonstrated how Pundarika is a great devotee by when Mukunda Datta sang the Aho Bhakti Stanakala Kutam verse, uh, and at which Pundarik lost himself in ecstasies. So Pundarik, he was unusual, but not all devotees do the same thing. Definitely Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and others bathing in the Ganga, laughing, frolicking in the Ganga. They're pleasing Ganga so much because she came down, if you see the map, if you see the map, apparently the waters of the Ganga, they mostly flow into East Bengal. But actually the, what's called the Ganga takes a, a right turn at what is now called the Faraka Barrage takes a right turn. This is where Bhagirat, he took a right turn and came down and brought Ganga down to what is now Ganga Saga, going, th going through the land which has since become known as Navadweep, the eternal dham of Navadweep, which at that time was unmanifest. So Ganga, in, uh, she inspired him to uh, take that route so that she could go through Navadweep and knowing that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in future would perform his pastimes there. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was laughing, playing, frolicking in the Ganga and very much pleasing, um, very much pleasing Ganga Devi by doing so. <clears throat> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also demonstrates and all the great, the, all the great saintly persons of India, they bathe in the Ganga. They, they, they have re veneration. There are some uh, Kabir who decries all such things, but at, at least we can say uh, those in standard, Ved or either standard Vedantic paramparas. That means either in the uh, Advaitin line from Shankara or the Vaishnava lines, they all properly venerate Ganga. But Pundarik Vidyanidhi had this uh, unique mood in which he demonstrates to us that we should not take Ganga lightly, that 
she is our mother, and just like a child can play on the lap of the mother, and the child kicks and kicks the mother, the baby kicks the mother, and the, the mother takes pleasure in that. She doesn't blame the child, but uh, we should also consider that we're not supposed to be childish. We should also uh, consider that how fortunate we are how to bathe in sacred Ganga and not take Ganga very cheaply. Uh, for this reason, Srila Prabhupada, at one point he forbade his disciples from bathing in Radha Kunda, which is so much extolled in the Gorya literature because some of Srila Prabhupada's disciples were just taking it as a pleasure spot and sp swimming in Radha Kunda, not, not with, without proper understanding of her sanctity. So Pundarika Vidyanidhi, he demonstrated that. It doesn't mean that no one should bathe in the Ganga, but we should remember Pundarik and not, uh, and not take very lightly the opportunity to bathe in the Ganga. What should our attitude be? Our attitude should be, hey, Mother Ganga, you, uh, just as you have come here to serve, you, you flow all the way. To, you come to this world to purify, so purify me so that I may have for you love as you have love for Gauranga. That's one suitable prayer. We may, we may, we may have uh, various prayers, just like when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Navadip showed his 21-hour manifestation of opulence as the Supreme Lord. He asked different devotees for, to have different he asked them, what, what do you want? What is your heart's desire? I will fulfill it. And different devotees, some asked for, may I have unflinching faith of my guru? The uh, Kolavecha Sridha, he replied, may that young Brahmin boy who always tormented me, harassed me by stealing my goods, may, may, he, may he be the Lord of my life, life after life. So different devotees, they prayed, in different ways, may I have the association of devotees birth after birth. So our prayer should be for pure devotional service. We can also remember the prayer of Kunti Rani to Lord Krishna. She prayed to Krishna that met, let my love for you, met my, let my attraction for you, Krishna, let my attraction forever flow toward your feet as the Ganga forever flows forcefully toward the sea. So that's a meditation on the great devotee Pundarik Vidyanidhi and on Mother Ganga and on Navadi Dham and on Gauranga and all his associates in brief. May Mother Ganga purify us all. May Gauranga, Navadip, all the devotees purify us all. May we all uh, take shelter at the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada, who has introduced us to this life of Krishna consciousness and be purified so that we may also, we, we can have this great ambition that may we also one day Lord, join Lord Gauranga in his frolic spots in the Ganga in Navadweep. Kobe hobe bolo shede nama. Amar apara adar guchi shudhan nama ruche. Kripa bole hobe hridaye sancha. When will I chant the holy names purely and uh, become qualified, free from offenses, become qualified to chant the holy name purely? So we can chant the holy names. We don't all get the opportunity to bathe in the Ganga every day or very often or maybe not even in our whole lives but we can all chant the holy names and if we get the chance bathe in the Ganga also just like Ranga Puri made a long journey by walking specifically for the point of bathing in the Ganga no doubt he was chanting the holy names as he walked along Hare Krishna Rancha Kalpa Tarubhyas Chakri Pasindavya Vijapatita